What up, though, homies and home It's your homeboy Grease Tees, and you know how we get it in, fam. Check it out. I got a new tip for y'all. Got something to do with splice, reason, and sampling off the internet. Y'all want to check out this secret? Well, check it out. Hey, we back, fam. Uh, dig this here, man. Uh, your home Grant Tizzle been, uh, you know what I'm saying, always on his sensei, you know what I'm saying, always on his little journey, finding out new things, things like that. Then, um, I got some my your homie been sleeping on a little something, something. And, you know, I, it's okay. You know, sometimes we sleep on something. You know, that's what you do, especially when you're an entrepreneur and you're branching out and you're doing a lot of different things. You know, your homie doing teacher art, you know what I'm saying, websites, graphic, everything, video, you know what I mean? But uh, I seem to have slept on this website called Splice. Splice, nice. And uh, check it out, man. Oh, this is my homie, uh, Young RJ from the D. Um, his daddy name is RJ, you know what I'm saying? We used to do business with him back in the day. Anyway, man, that, that, that's our Detroit fan. We got this similar, very, very similar sound. We kind of got this Funk Clinton type, you know, type vibe going on. Anyway, uh, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about Splice. Now, I mean, and I'm going to try, try to keep this as brief as possible because we're going to actually come back and do some more tutorials. But what I wanted to share with you is when I ran across Splice and I kind of ran across a few of their samples, I'm like, oh, snap. What I like about it in particular is that it's very inspirational. If you need something to be inspired by, go to Splice. Now, right now, I don't even have a sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? Because... A lot of times they give you sponsorship if you promote their site and they give you different, you know, credits and credentials. But honestly, fam, um, this place to me is so good. They don't even got to give me no credit. I'll get it later on if, if you know, if it suits. But for now, this is the spot, fam. This is the place to go. I remember back in the day when I was doing tutorials and I was telling you guys about your sound source and when you get where you can get inspiration from or create vibe or get your vibe from. And that used to be Rhapsody back in the day. Remember, it was Rhapsody. It was um, Napster. And I used to, you know, say, you know, go there, listen to some orchestra music, listen to some jazz, you know, because it's got thousands, you know, hundreds of thousands of songs. Well, this place to me is even better. I'll get into detail about it later, but it was something extra special that I discovered. And it's more than just splice because, you know, you got really good sounds and things like that. But the thing you're going to learn here today, fam, is a little secret trick I learned. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is the secret? Greasy teasy you always on some greasy. Yeah, I know, man. Well, let me show you something. Uh, when I was scanning through some of these sounds, I'm like, you know what? It would be really nice. I, I remember back in the day seeing a video. I know I'm drawing, I'm drawing it out. Let me just get to the point. I remember seeing a video where you can actually sample anything off the internet through YouTube. I mean, through reason, uh, if you know how to rewire it. And, um, and I remember watching that video, but then I haven't seen that video no more. I couldn't find it no more. And I was like, man, I know it's a way you can do it. I did it before. I heard it before. I knew you can do it. And it was from one of the old videos, not even new from one of the old ones, like, you know, reason four or five or six or something like that. So I did a little, um, discovery. I did a little bit of research and then picking around with the tools. And what I came up with, what I found was that this. Uh, and I guess I got to, you know, play it to show you. So fortunately, these are royalty free. So I ain't going to get in trouble if I play it because I do like for my site to get monetized. But anyway, I'm going to play a sample here. Now, this is a cool little sample from my homie uh, RJ, little homie. And um, we can actually get this sampled in here. Now, right now, what I'm going to have to do. Right now, what I got to do, fam, let's turn this over and let's look at what we got here. So you see, uh, technically, when you open this up, matter of fact, let me open up a brand new one here. We're going to open up the new one, uh, you know, a new session. And uh, we're going to turn this puppy around here so you can see the standard setup here. So if we hit our tab and we turn it around, you'll see that 
Uh, let's see if we can pull some of this stuff in and out. So, okay. So you'll see the main thing, the main setup here is coming out of, um, you know, the first two, one and two. And it's going to the sample input, sampling input. Now, um, there is a way that you can get audio in here. And uh, let's see if we can finagle that real quick. I'm going to pull up. Now, what I have here is uh, UAD. I got the UAD console, but any sound card should work. You just have to be able to go in there and find um, find your sound card and find the different ins and outs. You know, And you got to keep in mind that when we play something, for example, watch this. You see, when we play something off the internet, it should run through your sound card so that it can go to your headphones or out to your speaker so you can, it can be monitored. So the thing is, is to find out, your goal is to find out, well, what is the routing so that I can instead of route it just here and then it stops at reason, we can actually route it where it goes through reason. So uh, right now, and um, my audio is set up, I got it on primary sound driver right now because that's how you're able to hear the audio coming from here because if I switch it to uh, USB, if I switch it to the actual thing, I guess the way the wiring is done, you're not going to be able to hear the production um, that I got uh, coming out of reason. Uh, but it's necessary to set it up like this so that you can get your sample going on. And then what you do, yeah, let me turn this around real quick. Uh, if we play the sample again, you'll see that the audio is coming out of um, two and three. So I'm going to shut up. You see that? So the idea is to turn this around, let's turn it around, and run this through here. Right? Turn it back around. And now we got this routed through the sampling input. So now since we got that router through the sampling input, now we can go in here and drag a sampler out. So we can put that in there and it could be any sampler, right? And we should be able to hit this uh, audio button. And as you see, I'm talking, you see the sample there, but we also should be able to play the sample from here. So I'm gonna play the sample. Now this is going to, this is going to disappear, right? Uh, when I hit this, but, um, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Now let's pull it back up. So you see the sample is playing through there. My dirty dog bastard little secret. This is my bastard secret child. Game is freaking over. Do you feel me, doggy dog? Now watch this. We're going to hit the edit. <laughs> and listen, we're going to play it back. Dig this. Ah, yo, yo, dirty dog. <laughs> so dog game is about to be over. So we can crop it. We can hit our little snail snap right there. Bing it right there. Bye-bye. Right? Oh, wait, wait. Let's make sure that's where the samples. I'm going to crop that. Let me see. Okay, so uh, let me play and make sure we got everything in here. All right, so we got the sample in here. Let me just cut that off and we'll move this here. And we'll crop that. All right. So before we go even further, fam, just that alone, just that right there should be a game changer for your production. Now, we're going to go deep. We could definitely going to go deeper, but I'm just trying to get you to open your eyes to the new possibilities, fam. Right now, I don't really know how Fruity Loops work with that. I don't know how Pro Tools or, you know, Cubase or Sonar or, you know, um, Logic Pro, all them different. I don't know how those work, but I do know that there should be a way. If, you're, if your machine can sample, there should be a way that you can sample in these sounds. Now, what are the benefits? Bam. <laughs> don't tell them I did this, man, because they going to get mad, fam. But this is an eye opener. Now, I'm not encouraging you to do strange things, right? <laughs> but I am telling y'all, man, go sign up to Splice. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you sign, if you sign up, um, they allow you to download, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can download this. I think, like, when you sign up for $7.99, I think you can download, like, 100 or whatever. And here's the download button right there because uh, it's one credit per download uh, sometime if it's a big thing you know it's more than one credit or whatever the case may be but but the figure deal me though 
Can you imagine where you can find a sound, any sound you want, and then just sample it directly into reason? So I don't really, honestly, I don't know the, I guess it would be an ethical thing. I don't know. But again, if you get, if you on YouTube and you, for example, you want to, um, you want to uh, sample Donald Trump's voice. Can you imagine? You could just go straight in there and pull and pull up, play the news and sample it directly into here. Now, here's the fun part. Watch this. Let's name it. We're going to call this um, my boy RJ Loop. RJ Loop. Uh, let's know. We already normalized it. So we got it peaking. Uh, then we hit. We just hit. Oh, let me. That's spelled wrong. Hit RJ Loop. Okay. We hit enter. Now, the cool part, fam, is dig this. If you hover over, here's a sample. Okay. So anyway, they need to be pitched and all that that's other type of stuff. Okay. But dig this. If you right click, you can go edit the sample. Or here, you can go to manage samples, right? Look. Now the sample is over here. You dig? There's RJ Lou right there. Watch it. You see that? Now, now here's the other cool part. Look, dig this. Here. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it real quick. Here. I'm going to play it. And go, we're going to go over here and we're going to hit that tap. Uh, 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 Okay, so we let's say it's, let's just say it's 96, right? We can stop it. We can either put that in the sampler or we can drag drag that boy boy into a timeline. You figure deal it me now, man? And we can slide that there. And if my timing wasn't perfect, we can take that hold shift i mean hold um control we can drag it back and we'll automatically be putting it in time you dig and then we can go back and uh, 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 uh. okay uh, that seemed like that is a little off but we'll figure it out we'll fix it don't worry about it i ain't tripping you know what i mean oh maybe here maybe we can adjust that let's see 96 i don't know something we can do to fix that here let me see just because I'm a wizard, I don't know everything. All right, fam. So I'm, I, I promise I was going to keep this brief. You know why? Because we got another session coming up. And what we're going to do is come over and use Splice, find some fun, random samples, man, and see if we can make some heat. Is it possible? Of course it is. Because now our minds is open. Now we have... And it's royalty free, um, royalty free samples. Now a lot of people be like, oh, okay, dang, this is royalty free. You know what I'm saying? Some, everybody can get the, the same samples. Well, I, yeah, I understand, but keep this in mind: you're a producer, you're a producer with elements, right? So every element is not going to sound the same. It's what you do with the elements. Your personality get put on that track. Is you're going to make that sample something totally different? To each his own. It is what it is. Some people are going to complain. Some people not. Me personally, I'm not complaining because it's going to change the face of music. It's going to change the face of my music. It's going to a, a, a variation of different styles. I already got my sound, but with these different hundreds of thousands of different sample options now my sound is going to uh be more broad it's going to reach a larger audience of people you understand especially if um if you kind of a limited producer to just one particular style so we're going to keep that in mind fam so um so i just wanted to share that with you because it's very very valuable to me this is very valuable information you know what i'm saying and and for example like splice for example man they got like kicks and snares and it's just endless and if you already know about splice then you already know what i'm talking about but if you don't know about splice go over there and check it out and if you are a reason follower if you follow my videos um, you, you, you using reason. And if you're using reason, you really see the benefits of the thing that I just showed you right here. All right. So I hope you guys benefited from this. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe. And if you're watching this video, hit that bell button, hit that notification button, because if I post up something new, you're not going to know about it. And I need y'all to watch these videos. I need y'all to see, let me rephrase that. I don't need y'all to watch. I need y'all to watch these videos. No, I would like for you guys to watch uh, some of the videos if you know if you find it beneficial not only watch it but please share it share it as well because that tells youtube that oh this is some valuable information so when people look for producing beats and slice splice or you know how to sample off the internet using reason this will come up as opposed to 
a uh, hundred thousand other videos that's like really irrelevant to the thing that I just taught you guys today. All right, so I'm wrapping it up right now, fam. I got to go do some other things, but we're gonna double back and we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some more splice samples and we're gonna make some beats from scratch, several beats from scratch. Now they're gonna be very, you know, quick. They're gonna be real simple. Uh, Elementary for lack of better words, but if you want some detailed uh, instructional uh, t tutorials or videos, make sure y'all go subscribe to that uh, todaysbeast.com slash slash subscription and um, join us up, you know, join us and um, you can get into much more detailed production uh, joints. All right. All right. I'm out of here, man. Thank y'all for listening. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you when I spin it. Pills needs big boy. Yeah.